Now, here's another historic clip. This is another historic clip from the archives concerning the Ethiopian uh, World Federation. And this is uh, dated uh, June 17, 1937. And this particular, let's see if we can get some good light on it. This particular page right here is on Amharic, as you can see. This is the Amharic language, and this was being taught by Dr. Malako Emmanuel Bain. And here is an article, a postcard, um, from a postcard that was being sent to His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie um, in exile. You can see it in the Amharic right here and a translation of it with the with the proper um um uh, what is this called? Uh protocol, the Imperial Protocol, in other words, what is his Majesty's proper name as well as and, and title. You know, because many would say many different names, somewhat prophetically, somewhat according to eschatology, but not according to the proper imperial protocol of the King of Kings. And we show this particular article here, as well as this uh, next article on the Amharic language being taught by Dr. Malako Emanuel Bain. Right here is his uh, signature. And then we have this next article. Um, from 1938, you can see here, it's 1938, and it says, uh, Friends of Ethiopia, Far and Near. And this is by Dr. Malako Emanuel Bayan's wife, the African-American Ethiopianist Dorothy H. Bayan. And it's a letter from a 10-year-old child. And it says, quote, and a little child shall lead them, end quote. And now this article is interesting. This is... Um, 10-year-old Edna Lewis, and within the particular article, she speaks about her love for his imperial majesty. She says, um, she says a couple of interesting things. Do we have enough? I hope we have enough to go through this. Battery's a little bit low, but let's go through what we can right here. This is from the Historic Archives, May 14, 1938, an article by Dr. Malako Emanuel Bayan's wife, Dorothy H. Bayan, a letter from a 10-year-old child and a little child shall lead them. And it says, this or the following is from a 10-year-old girl, now one of the ardent young, young workers in the cause of Ethiopia. Okay, this is, it, it, it's over here. It says, the following is from a 10-year-old girl, now ill in the hospital one of the ardent young workers in the cause of Ethiopia. She and her brother James Lewis were always at the meetings and were studying Amharic. She did all she could. Let's see how this reads over here. She did all she could to interest her schoolmates in this great cause. The grown-ups everywhere might well make a lesson from little Edna Lewis. We hope that before long she will be completely restored and will be with us again. We're going to get into this article because we're, we're getting a signal here. We're low on the battery power. But um, we'll get back into Edna Lewis's story, the 10-year-old learning Amharic in 1938. So stay tuned. Shalom Rastafari.